Welcome everybody to 922. Yes, welcome back to me and you. Not gonna lie, it has been months since I played this game. Last we left, left off, there was a bag that I don't even remember the character's name, but it, it was it was that Kurt. Kurt. Kurt was like, "Yo, grab my stuff. It's like in this room and stuff." And I think I titled the last video was like, "What's in the bag?" or something. So yeah, welcome back. If you want to play the game, search it on itch.io. I'm just gonna put in it. I can't put the link down below because it is anything 18 plus of a link. No, no, no. YouTube will instantly strike me, fam. So yeah, getting back to the game. What else could it be? Oh, oh, I, I was like, did I hit something? Why is it just nothing? What's happening here? Oh wow, I bite down extra hard on the end of my pen. I wish it would explode. I would jump up, spitting out ink all over the place, make a scene. That would surely distract me. Keep me from thinking about the damn backpack all day. Police were on campus this morning. I watched them stop students at random. People who were war hoodies. So if, 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 if some of you are like lazy to watch the other episodes, so there's a murder mystery going on and some questionable people. Yup, the questionable characters for our main character. He's like, okay, you're kind of too sus, man. You're like, are you a killer? Are you are you the murderer here? Or you're hiding something from me, you know? Yeah, it's, it's still all up in the air. So you're, you're pretty much good on that one. People who wore hoodies, people who were like tall. I've been giving them a wide berth. But with all the rumors flying around about, around about me, I expect them to start asking about short, sleepy idiots any day now as well. How do we find a tangent to a curve, Spencer? You've done it just a couple of questions ago. Are you still with me? Uh, yeah, yeah, give me a moment to think. At what point does the tangent line to such and such curve at so and so point intersect the y axis? It's an equation, it's equated to zero. I mean, there's already, it's already pinpointed. If we're gonna graph this, it's x, uh, x2, y1, so two, so the point is a 2, 1. Positive 2, positive 1 axis. That's what the whiteboard says in Andrew's handwriting in all caps. So far, I've confirmed that so-and-so point really does exist on such and such curve. Which means that Andrew isn't fucking with me for a change. Probably. I think. Okay, I was like, how can everyone be so cool with it? Kurt was and Ian was and now Andrew is as well. Actually, I don't know much how much trust to put into what Kurt said that Andrew was helping him out. If he did, though... Man, serial killers have got nothing on Andrew's poker face. Hang on just a little longer, our time is almost up. Oh, thank goodness, I thought we were gonna be given like, answer this question and such. Faculty could have really made my life easier here. Spent the past couple of days trying to find truthers. Truthor. Truth of a Ha yeah. Uh, okay, if anyone is like, what does that mean? What did Sleepy just say? Uh, Sleepy Boy just say, uh, Are you a shooter? Are you really a shooter? Shooter. 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 Shooter is on the faculty website, even called useless as tech support. When I finally enter all the right words and select the right combination of checkboxes, what do I find? The group of available cock to shooters. Shooter. Shooter. Oh my goodness. How, how, am, I, how am I messing up that word? Shooter. Your tutor, tutor pronunciation. Yeah, tutor. 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 Why did I am I saying tutor, man? I'm saying I'm saying, I'm saying two Thors. Tutor. Yeah. <laughs> cut, cut tutors. Tutor consists of only one person, and that person just so happens to recently flash me their dick. Would you like to share your thought process with me again, Spencer? I realize it feels silly, but I find that voicing it out really helps. Hey, here's our here's our tutor. Hmm? Maybe we could f still find someone else. Ask my what's it, my academic advisor. 
Andrew will probably hear about it, but at this point, it's a bit too late to start taking his feelings into account. Or do you want to stop for the day? That's fine too. Yeah. I mean, please? It only takes me a second to toss my textbook and stationery into and stationery into my bag, so I'm forced to watch awkwardly as Andrew cleans up the room. He's spritzing at the whiteboard for from a little bottle of cleaner and wiping it off with a towel. Don't think he's making any progress. That thing was already right near pristine. So how fucked am I really? He half turns his head back at me to speak. Well, it shows that you've missed quite a lot of material. We've made good progress today though, despite what I think you must feel. Yeah? Yes. You have a good head on your shoulders, Spencer, I can tell. Oh my god, man. I can't hate Andrew, man. Was it Andrew Park? That's his last name, right? I can't hate on him, man. This guy, this guy is just... Maybe it's too perfect. That's a little bit off-putting sometimes, you know, like, this guy... This guy, man. Shucks! Shucks. I bet you say that to all the ladies. I do, but in your case, it's sincere. Was, was that a joke? Truth be told, by coming here, you have already put yourself ahead of the curve. In what way? Calculus is tough. It's rare when a student doesn't have trouble with it. We do try to get the message across that one should reach out to us when struggling, but you'd be surprised at how few students actually do. I mean, yeah, who would... No, I get it. That's a leap, once again. There are certain there are things in life in which we have to just leap forward. We don't know what to expect, man. We're gonna be in a new environment. Like, first time of your... First day of a job, you know, first time applying. It's all those things, really. It's not cheap. Uh, then again, there we go. That's another decision factor. That's true, but I wonder if that's really the crux of the matter. Remember that most freshmen enroll straight out of high school. Were you to ask me, I'd say that most of them don't yet understand that it's up to them to seek help. I certainly did not at that age. Oh, that's a wow. That's a very mature point right there. Not really mature, more like that's a, that's a straight answer. Tell me, Spencer, do any of, do any of your other classes trouble you as much as calculus does? Are they correcting? No. Thanks, I'm all good. Hmm. Alright. How do I phrase this? We've started on the wrong foot. Oh, foot. What is wrong with me today? Foot. We've started on the wrong foot. I understand that and I'm sorry. I truly am. But could you please at least try to cooperate? Despite whatever we had between us, it is still my duty to counsel students and not to toot my own horn. I think I do a fairly good job. Is there anything you need help with, Spencer? Why is he such a helpful to me kind of guy? Academically, I mean. Like, he's like begging me to like seek his assistance, man. What the hell? What's the point of this? The only thing I need right now is to go home. And he's only asking this because he probably read my records and knows that all my grades are... Shit. Do you know what's up with Ian? Uh, that's not for me to... Actually, what do you mean? Not quite the yeah I, I did not expect not quite the reaction I was going for but I'll mark the diversion down as a success. Ian's been gone all week. I called him and he's saying he isn't sick, and I couldn't get him to say what he was skipping class for. You're his uh, what was it that Ian called him? Family friend? And I don't mean to pry if it's anything too private, but what? Yeah, why is he smiling there, menacing me? <laughs> Nothing, I'm just happy to see that you care about Ian so much. He's like a brother to me, you know? Huh. It's not anything too private, to my knowledge, no. Ian never tried to hide it. Did you ever wonder why Ian can't move his tail? You did notice that, right? 
Come on, you're asking my boy Spencer to notice small details? Man, you're giving him too much credit. Spencer has some shit to unpack, as you say. As you know, as some people say. With all the tail wagging you do, never looked at it too closely. I wag my tail the socially acceptable amount. Ian had been involved in a traffic accident a few years ago. His back got hurt and his tail was left paralyzed partially. During the run last week, he had overworked himself and had to take a few sessions of uh, physiotherapy as a result. I visited him at home just a couple days ago. It looks like he's doing well. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's nice. Oh, um, that's good to hear. Doesn't explain why he wouldn't tell me, but... I stopped myself a little too too late. Why? Oh, that smirk. I don't like that smirk, man. Andrew Spencer. My back stiffens up. It's like a hawk looking down on the hair. Exactly. Look at those eyes, man. They're piercing right through my screen. During the run, have you noticed Ian acting somewhat tense around you? He was, yeah. Thought he just didn't want to get naked, man. No. No way. What do you mean? Didn't he seem a bit nervous to you? I think that the only person who wasn't nervous was you. You big weirdo. No offense. Is implying Ian won't tell me about his spine injury because what? Don't tell me Ian likes Spencer, man. <laughs> we are doing this. Ah, so you could tell. For okay, sleepy boy. What about the? Uh, I don't know. Someone might come. Over. Are you like? What, what? 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 What's your preference? I'm straight as hell. But when it comes to romance, I don't give a crap. Okay, I don't give a crap. I'm shipping anyone, my man. Could be BL or lady love, or you know, that's a GL girl love, or like just normal shippings. You know, I don't give a crap, man. Okay, going back. Ah, so you could tell. Tell what? Could you do me a big favor? I would personally appreciate it if you had a short talk with him. You know, to clear things up. You do it. Pardon? You said he's like a brother to you, right? <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> got him, man. Gotcha. Spencer. Spencer. Got that. Mm. Then you do it. That's... I mean, I can't. Why not? Because I'm not... Not what? You know, I don't. He's bluffing. I have no idea why he'd be asking me to have a talk with Ian, but there's no way he knows I suck dick. Oh, thank God. Just a minute. Yeah, this is getting awkward, man. This is getting awkward. Who is this? It's 7.05. This must be whoever's using this classroom next. I know it's a bit awkward, Spencer, so I won't press the issue any further. However, please do consider what would happen if you leave this little issue unresolved. So, f so, f like, I, I like it. I don't know, man. Uh, Andrew's like, when the way he talks, he talks, he's like, he's talking to like, I don't know, your supervisor or something. <laughs> Just as Andrew's about to open the door, the handle turns and Professor Reed's head, Professor Reed's head pokes in. He looks past Andrew, his eyes narrow when they settle on me. Oh, so that's Professor Reed's, no, I think we saw Professor Reed's part, first part. Evening, Mr. Swain. Good evening. Oh, it was a Swain. Good evening, Professor. Part. Reed doesn't try to hide that he's standing between me and the exit. Hello. Oh wait, no. Our name, last name is Park. It's so Andrew Spen. Andrew Swain. Wait, what? Hello. Sociology is the one class over which I never regret taking the back row. Reed lectures by mumbling what's written in the textbook onto the board. He doesn't take attendance. Never addresses the students. Ask a question and it makes sure you, re you regret it for the rest of the class. He stares me down as if this is the first time he sees me since the day of the murder. Wouldn't be surprised if it is. How can we help you, Professor? Professor? Quiet, Park. I'm trying to think. This is stupid. This is, this is the thumbnail right here. Yep. A toddler would be able to see through Reed's little scare tactics. My heart picks up pace nonetheless. 
find any more corpses lying around. Spencer, Jesus, Park. Reed wets his lips before speaking. Do you remember Mr. Nelson Fisher? The speaker that went missing the day of the murder? What about him? I was asked to arrange an introduction between the two of you. What? Terrible idea were you, to, were you to ask me, but I'm not the one calling the shots. His gaze drops for a split second as he adjusts the cuff of his sleeve. Don't be lippy with him. He's not affiliated with the Institute in any shape or form. None of us would be able to help you if you get on his bad side. That's all. Need a special invitation, Park? Oh wow, it looks, it looks like uh, Andrew doesn't doesn't vibe with the, anybody, you know, other than us. Hang on. Now, I guess. Looks just like us. Is that our Papa, Dada? It's Daddy. It's a, oh my God, it's Daddy. It's Father, man. Suddenly, I'm drowning. Spencer Swain, I presume? Haha, <laughs> of course you are. The resemblance is uncanny. You look just like that David kid. Did we name Spencer as Spencer? I can't remember, man. Is, was that his OG name? Give it here. My hand is in his hand. Pleasure's all mine. Now, Spencer. Can I call you Spencer? Is that alright? We look like him, man. This is... This ain't a... This ain't a developer forgot to like think about new design characters, man. No way. Yeah. Not much of a talker, are you? As I was saying, or this is like one of those plot twists. Nah, no, I'm just making what if Spencer was old. That's this guy. You know, as I was saying, I wanted to take a couple of minutes out of your day to chat about David Johnson. I know, I know. You just want to forget all about it. I'm right there with you. Believe me when I say it. The feds finally left me alone only last week. That fine with you? You good to talk? No, man. F you, man. <laughs> yes. No, no, this is a thumbnail right here. Great. Now, I don't know if you've been following the case, so let's both get up to speed, shall we? David Johnson gets his, you know, neck wrung out. Some hack journalist gets bribed by an unknown to misreport it on the news. The local chief deputy conducts investigation in secret and after that the county gets involved. I'm with the county, so things get a bit personal when they start pointing their fingers at me. So far so good? So far so good, the story so far, yeah. So I'm gonna end this video right here. Cut it in the cliffhanger. Sorry about that, but if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and share to friends and loved ones to support this channel. Other than that, thank you for watching. See you next episode of 922. Bye!